Good morning internet, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Ubuntu Studio on Raspberry Pi 4. So get that micro SD card ready and let's get started. First thing first, we need to load the micro SD card with Ubuntu operating system. So let us head to a raspberrypi.org and download a Raspberry Pi image. We will use this tool to write Ubuntu operating system to the micro SD card. Raspberry Pi Imager is available for all platforms including Mac and the PC. Pi is doing its job. You can also have a look at the Raspberry Pi org website to see if you can uh, have a look at their complete uh, desktop kit which can be useful if you have a monitor at home a spare monitor uh, the kit comes with a with all the cables the keyboard the mouse the pi and the case itself so it can be a useful tool uh, just browse the site and look at what other tools and accessories search the app store for microsoft remote desktop app it's a free app which you can download i already have it on my system if you are using Mac, you can get it from the App Store. If you are using Windows, you can just Google for it and you'll have a link to it. So you can get it for Windows as well as for Mac. It's a free app from Microsoft. It is time to insert the micro SD card into your Pi now. So attach the network cable and power it up. Once your Pi boots up and you are logged in, just enter the commands which you see on your screen now. Then just reboot the Pi again and wait for it to come to life. Hopefully this should be the most technical bit which is involved here. The rest of this process should be simple enough. So please enter the commands which you see on your screen now. Feel free to uh, skip this part of the video. Uh, it is quite it's long but I have fast forwarded it. It shows all the output of the commands which I gave in the previous uh, screen. So yeah, I'll play some music now, some background music now for you. I'm going to connect to Pi using Microsoft Remote Desktop, but if you have connected it directly to the peripherals, then you can just skip this step. If everything went well, you should be logged into the Ubuntu operating system with all the desktop apps installed. Take your time to go through the settings and admire that such a tiny device can run this gorgeous looking operating system. Take your time around that. Once you are ready, we will upgrade 
this operating system to Ubuntu Studio so you get all the bells and whistles which I promised at the beginning of this tutorial. These are the default apps uh, which have been installed by the Ubuntu desktop. As you can see, there is quite a few handful. Most of them can be used, especially for creating office documents, spreadsheets, or emails. You, you also have a GIMP, a paint program as well. We will now install Ubuntu Studio from the Snap Store. Feel free to install other applications like Qt Creator or there are other LibreOffice, LibreDraw, GIMP and various other tools. Feel free to explore. So make sure the software settings are such that you can install software from other sources as well as I am showing in my screenshot. While you are going through the Snap Store, feel free to look at other tools and utilities which might be helpful to you. So there are things. So we'll go through Ubuntu Studio Installer as you can see on your screen. Uh, the password prompts which you are seeing, uh, you see them because I have connected the Pi to using Microsoft Remote Desktop. Uh, you won't be seeing those prompts if you have connected the Pi directly to your keyboard. So I will just let this play on. So I am in Ubuntu Studio now, uh, which has been installed on the Raspberry Pi 4. You can see the desktop and all the apps also listed on the desktop as well. So I'll try to open some apps. The screen lag which you see is because uh, I'm connected to the Ubuntu Studio through Microsoft Remote Desktop. It is usable. You can use these apps without any problems. Uh, you can also use YouTube. Watching full HD videos is not a problem at all. You can record some audio as well. So I have 
So this screen which I'm uh, which you are seeing right now it has been recorded using OBS studio. So OBS is doing its job while uh, you are seeing this screen apps and other things. It's quite a useful tool to have. So right, so it's time to install Qt now. Let's install Qt Creator now. Go to Snap Store and search for Qt Creator. You should uh, see an entry there. Just select that and go ahead and install it. It should install the IDE as well as other uh, samples as well. So the big question is Raspberry Pi 4 a budget desktop computer? Yes, definitely. I use it for my programming needs for programming uh, touch based UIs using Qt. It definitely works. I hope you will give it a try. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and press the like button below. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon in the next video. Thank you very much.